Good morning, boys and girls and teachers, or good afternoon, depending on when you're listening to this. This is Mrs. Ward, and I'm here to share a great holiday story with you. Uh, one or two years ago, Mr. Brackman gave me a new Christmas book at the holiday time, and it has one of my favorite animals in it. The story is called The, S the Star in the Christmas Play. There will be lots of animals in this story. I want to see if you can guess which one is one of my favorite animals. So here we go. The story is titled The Star in the Christmas Play. It's written by Lynn Marie, illustrated by Lorna Hussey. I wish I were any animal but a giraffe, said Rossi. Instead of running toward Savannah School like usual, he dragged his hooves. Mother nuzzled his neck. What's wrong, little one? I'm big, a giant. I'll never get a part in the Christmas play. Mother smiled. You're just the right size. Rafi sighed. I'm not the right size at all. Someday, said Mother, you'll appreciate how tall you are. When Rafi arrived at school, he joined the others in the audition line. I'm trying out for baby Jesus, said Lion Cub. He curled into a little ball. I'd love to be Mary, Meerkat practiced looking neat. I hope to be Joseph, said Cheetah, using a deep voice. I'm a shoe-in for the camel, Camel arched his back. With a little fleece, I'd make a swell sheep, said Baby Hippo. Seems like everybody has a part already in mind. Everyone giggled, except Rafi. Someone as tall as I am could never be a star, he slumped. Mrs. Ostrich began the tryouts. Each animal acted out a scene. When Rafi's turn came, he read Joseph's part. Everyone applauded. Well done, said Mrs. Ostrich. In the afternoon, Rafi raced home. I read so well, Mama. Everyone clapped. Maybe someone as tall as I am can be a star in the play. Mother smiled. You're my star. The next day, Rafi galloped so fast to school, he even beat Cheetah there. He couldn't wait to hear which part Mrs. Ostrich assigned to whom. One by one, Mrs. Ostrich read out the parts. Lion would play baby Jesus. Uh, let's see, Meerkat would be Mary, and Cheetah would be Joseph. New and Camel both got to play camels. Rafi's lips twitched. Will I ever get a part at all? Someone as tall as I am could never be a star, and he slouched. All from the aardvarks to the hyenas hooted and howled with joy as they returned their parts, except Rafi, who wanted to kick up dirt and run home. Then Mrs. Ostrich called his name. Rafi, I've not yet assigned your role, she began. Rafi bent down and whispered to her, I'm too tall, aren't I? Yes, she said. I can't play a lead role because I don't fit in the manger. Yes, she said. I can't play a manger animal because I'll block the others from view. Yes, she said. I can't play an angel as I'd fall through the roof. She nodded, yes. But don't worry, said Mrs. Ostrich. I'm sure we'll come up with something. She patted his long neck and paused. Rafi looked longingly at the stage. And then up, up, up at the sky, he remembered his mother told him, you're my star. Then a thought came to him. He whispered in Miss Ostrich's ear. What a fine idea, she said. That's truly an important part. On Christmas Eve, all the Savannah babies took their places behind the curtain, except Rafi, who hid behind the manger. The nativity play began. 
When the babe was born, a bright light rose above the manger. By the light of this guiding star, the wise men and the shepherds found their way to the baby Jesus. Rafi beamed, after all, he was the star of the Christmas play. And that is the end of the star in the Christmas play. Now I told you at the beginning that one of the animals in this story was one of my favorite animals. And I bet you can guess which one it is. Wasn't the cheetah, wasn't the ostrich, although those are very cool animals. It's the giraffe. Giraffes are a favorite animal of mine. And um, so Rafi the giraffe in this story found a way to make himself very important in this story. He became the star because he was the only one tall enough that he could wear the star and be in the manger and in the Christmas play to shine that light. So I hope that this holiday season and in your lives and in your classrooms, you can find a way to use your special gifts and your special talents in a great way to help others and to be a great light for everyone else. Hope you have a great rest of today and a wonderful holiday season. Thanks for listening. Bye.